Hey, it's Jack. Saturday, November 7th, I think. And I'm still on vacation in Northern Kentucky. And today, I'm across the river in Cincinnati at this cemetery, Spring Grove Cemetery in Arboretum. Um, it's a wonderful place. I come here every time I visit. And it's right in the middle of an industrial zone. That's what all this noise is about. So let me take you for a quick tour. And I got something really cool to show you. So I don't really have time to give you a really big tour today because I couldn't do it justice. But I just want to show you one or two of my favorite places and show you some an amazing plant I discovered growing here uh, about 10 years ago. And I come and visit it whenever I'm in town. And this is the historic area. There's a lot of Civil War soldiers and personalities buried here. And this lake, just full of just beautiful bald cypress that are in their fall color right now. There's the Civil War Soldier Monument. And this place is just full of these just giant ginkgo trees. All different varieties too. So there it is, my big find. A healthy stinking cedar growing in Cincinnati, Ohio. So that's uh, the Florida Torea tree, it's all, as it's also called, and its proper name is Torea uh, taxifolia. And when I first saw this bush about 10 years ago, it was, it was trimmed like a shrub, but as you can see now, they're letting it grow out, so it's developing some leaders, so we may have a nice, I mean this thing's already like 25 feet tall, so this is going to be beautiful. Maybe someday trees like this planted away from its native area will help us regrow the populations in Florida. So you can see in here, they were trimming it to stay as a bush, but looks like we're going to get a big tree now. So, and there's the leaves. And when they're slightly bumped, they smell bad, so that's where they get their name, Stinking Cedar. So I visit this bush every time I come to Cincinnati. Okay, what I'm looking for now is a cousin of the Florida Torea. It's a Japanese Torea tree, and it's supposed to be somewhere right around here. So. They give you a map and a finder, and you can usually get stuff pretty easy. Man, this is just the best place to be on a nice sunny fall day when the leaves are all turned. And this is just really nice. So anyway, I think it's around here. I'm gonna have to get out of the car and explore. Okay, well it took me a little while to find it, and it was hard to find, and the reason why is because it's like, hidden in this border so what you gotta do is find the secret path you come back here past the horticultural building and then you find this this is a state champion tree it's a Japanese alcova so it's kind of beat up it looks like it got hit by lightning or something so hope it lives but anyway right next door that's the Japanese Torea. That's the cousin of our Florida uh, Torea, or stinking cedar. I don't know if this one stinks or not. I'll we'll give it a, a feel. But I found it. There's the label right there. And the needles look very much like the Florida species. 
this particular individual they're a little a little yellower it looks like and this one's been pruned as a shrub too but it looks like they're letting it go natural and starting to get a leaders so this should be a nice clump sometime I'm gonna come back here in a couple of years and look at this even found some fruits on this uh, on the Japanese Toria and these things here I guess those are the buds for next year see those little things so that's the Japanese Toria properly known as Toria nucifera Okay, now we're going to drive to the back of the cemetery. Uh, this thing's like hundreds and hundreds of acres. So the newer parts in the back, I'm going to go back there because uh, there's some gallberry bushes and stuff that I want to take a picture of. I'm in the back part of the cemetery now where they're just beginning to develop some of the land. And you can see there's hardwood forest covers these hills and ravines. And it's really pretty this time of year. So I imagine this is how much of um, southern Ohio looked uh, back when the Indians lived here. So as I pan around, I come looking toward the, the front of the cemetery. And as you can see, it's quite spacious. So I'm going to head on up toward the front to the old part because that's the part I like with all the monuments and mausoleums and stuff. So I'll go hang out there. They have lots of crab apple varieties here and flowering plums and that kind of stuff. <clears throat> you can see a lot of those in Florida already. Um, we got pictures of many of our flowering cherries are from here. Take out the ginkgo tree. That one's called Autumn Gold. You can see all the beautiful cypress trees they have planted around it. Two swans. A bunch of stupid Canada geese. This is down in the older part of it. So. And lots of obelisk here. I want an obelisk when I die. Big ass obelisk. Oh, here's a tree I need to photograph. bells are ringing it's getting cold and it's getting late so I think it's about time for uh, me to get home but I hope you enjoyed our field trip to the Spring Grove uh, Cemetery and Arboretum and next time um, we come here uh, we'll do a little more in-depth tour and I'll show you some of the historical sites and the historical uh, graves of uh, some pretty famous Americans uh, so we'll see you next time this is Jack be good and grow See you next trip.